Well, Harvey Weinstein's in deep trouble tonight, as we've reported, but his personal downfall by itself will do nothing to fix what is apparently a pretty toxic culture in the broader entertainment industry. Joy Villa is a singer and a songwriter, has been for a while. She says sexual harassment and even rape are deeply ingrained in that world, the entertainment world. Joy Villa joins us tonight. Joy, thanks a lot for coming on. So I, I think Hi, anybody Tucker. covering the story has gotten what I've gotten all day, all week, is texts from people in L.A. saying, mm -hmm. you know, this is nothing. You've been in that world. How common is this? That's right. It's absolutely prominent. That's the problem. The reason it was kept secret for so long is because it's normal. In the entertainment industry, it's very, very common for higher up level execs to prey on brand new artists. And it's sort of looked at as it's just what they do. Boys will be boys, power play, and so forth. So that's the biggest shock of this is that honestly, people in the entertainment industry are not shocked at this. So when you went into it, did you know that? I had heard many stories. I'll tell you, I was a, you know, a good girl from California. I hadn't heard a lot of stories, uh, enough stories to warn me from it. But when I went in, I first I became disillusioned with the whole Hollywood trap. I said, is this really how it is? Why am I trying to be an artist if all I'm going to get is people trying to, you know, touch me and hurt me and take from me? And I realized I have to stay in this industry to make it. Um, so it became sort of a battle, a day-to-day -day battle, and I learned very quickly within a couple months what this industry is really about. Well, be specific. What, what's it like for a young woman entering your business? Um, what like, what well, are young women likely to encounter? Well, Tucker, for instance, I uh, was propositioned by a great agency in Burbank, California. It was only my first couple months being in Los Angeles. I sent in bikini f pictures. Bikini photos are very common in this industry, you know, just to see what your body looks like. Nothing lewd. The and same, I got same a here message in from one of the agents. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> one of the uh, agents said, we want to see you. The main guy, the CEO of the agency would like to see you. We love what you look like. So I was ushered into a meeting with the owner, the main guy. I was very, very excited. I was all of probably 19 years old. And he closed the door and he said, we love what you look like. And if you, you know, make me feel good, I can make you rich and famous. You give me something, I'll give you something. What do you say? And I was absolutely disgusted, and I turned around. I was embarrassed. I, I looked down at the carpet. I said, I'm so sorry. Uh, this is not, not for me. No, thank you. And I backed out of there as fast as I could. But unfortunately, I was probably one of many girls he had propositioned, and it was very straightforward. So he was, he was that direct I'll about do it? I'll something for you. So there was no absolutely. mistaking his, his meaning at all? No, that was the worst thing. It was not something sort of sly. It wasn't even a wink, wink. It was, here's the deal. You do this for me and I will make it worth your while. It was straight up prostitution. And that's really how Hollywood is run these days. And I think it has been for a very long time. And we're going to see a lot of these stories come out even more because the tower of Hollywood, this Hollywood swamp is starting to crumble. If Weinstein is getting, uh, you know, pulled to the surface, all these other smaller players are going to start to be pulled to but the surface. Why? And they're taking I believe you. I believe you. Of course I do. And I've heard the yeah. same thing from others. But the part I don't understand is why nobody said anything. That's so over the top. That why didn't someone, you know, and, why you know, is this the first time we're hearing this? It's, you know, honestly, it's not really the first time you're hearing it because a lot of people try to say things. It's just, it's so overlooked and it's so, oh, you know, she's just unhappy because she didn't get cast for the role. She's jealous. Uh, he wanted the role, so he's going to make up stories. It's buried by the actual establishment of Hollywood. It's not just one evil guy. It's not just that one perpetrator pig. It's everyone around them right. who is burying the story and not letting other people speak. Also, they get paid off. You know, what's a cool one hundred thousand dollars to keep your mouth shut? So what if you gave up your life and your career? A lot of no, people take right. those deals and walk away. You kind of wonder where the feminists have been in all of this. I think it's a fair question. Joy, thanks for joining us and for your not account. talking. Thank you so much, Apparently. Tucker. Appreciate it.